Hi, my name is Eva, and welcome to this channel. I talk all about pleasure, bisexuality, sexual health, and relationships. And today, we're talking about seven things you can do to improve your confidence about your body in bed. The first tip is probably the biggest one, and it relates to the idea that if you are absorbing negative messages about diet culture or having a negative image about yourself, all of those negative ideas about your body are not just going to magically disappear when you go to have sex. So the first step is really challenging that in your day-to-day -day life, and my biggest tip is about the space that you surround yourself with both online and in person. So I would recommend unfollowing people that promote weight loss and toxic ideas about bodies and what bodies are beautiful and valuable. So along with that, in terms of unlearning and relearning, uh, my second tip is to follow all of these amazing people on social media who are activists around bodies and critiquing our societal ideas about what bodies are worthy and fat phobia and all of that stuff. Absorbing messages both in real life and on social media is a really good way to start this process. In terms of real life, it can be helpful to set boundaries around people who might talk about diets or weight loss or critique their body, kind of mentioning, I don't want to talk about that in front of me, can we not do that? Limiting the amount of time that you see them is another way to kind of surround yourself with people who are working towards body appreciation as well. And in terms of research, this is research-based. Higher body appreciation is linked to a lot of positive sexual health outcomes in terms of greater arousal, more orgasms, and overall greater sexual satisfaction. So body appreciation is related to better sex. My third tip, that's about following people who look like you, who have similar bodies to you, and I understand that it can be difficult to actually correctly assess what your body looks like and what other people's bodies look like on social media, but just approximately people who look like you, who are living their best lives, they are flourishing, doing amazing things, just like you are. Number four, a lot of these are related to social media because I think we're really lucky in a digital age where we can choose what kind of media we consume and that can inform a lot of our things about ourselves as well so my tip for is to follow sex bloggers so sex bloggers are people who write kind of about their own experiences with sexuality oftentimes review sex toys and hearing them talk candidly about their sexual experiences with masturbation and partnered sex can be really inspiring and I think they do an amazing job at being a permission slip to people for all to also explore their sexuality and not be self-conscious. Also, there are lots of sex bloggers who talk about their experience navigating body image and sexuality, so there's a lot of good resources with that. So I'll link some awesome people in the description as well. Tip number five is moving into the real world. Explore your body. Have sex with yourself. Masturbate. Get all up in there. Give yourself some orgasms. Being really intimate with your body and having sex with it can be a way to realize like, hey, I enjoy having sex with myself. Other people probably do too. Other ways to do this are to take nudes, videos, sexts, get to know your erotic self a little bit more, spend some time with yourself, try out different angles. Molly Margaret from What's Wrong With Molly Margaret on Instagram has a great nude how to. And I also have a video on how to sext if you want to check those out. Other ways you can do this, spend time naked. Hang out in your room, just in your body. Go to sleep naked if that's a good starting point there. Also, move around. Do movement that feels joyful in your body. Number six, do not date anybody. Do not sleep with anybody who makes comments about your body who tells you that you should change your hair or the way you dress or tells you to make your genitals smell different or change however you want to present your pubes. Those people are not going to make you feel comfortable and confident with your sexuality 
and create a safe and comfortable and exciting and erotic space for you to have sex with them. It's just not gonna happen. Also, there are so many people out there who think that you are hot in all of the ways and just, just sleep with those people instead. The seventh tip is related to the previous one about partners and that is to ask your partners or even your friends people you care about to give you specific compliments. Be like, hey, I put on this shirt today. I don't know how I feel about it or I like it. Can you tell me that I look good? Or can you tell me specific parts of my body that you find attractive or that you think are cute? You can also ask for specific compliments before sex, during sex, after sex to kind of reinforce that your body is hot or cute or great. You can also give yourself positive compliments. Do an affirmation every day. Do some journaling. Spend some time focusing on why you are hot, cute, beautiful, etc. I've said these tips as if it's very easy and you can just do all of these things, but again, this is a process and starting to change your at least social media sphere and your in-person sphere, messages that you're getting, people you surround yourself with is going to help one step along the way in this process. I believe in you because you deserve to experience pleasure in your body and to feel like your body is great and worthy of sexy things. That's all for me today. I'm sorry that I've been away from the internet and specifically YouTube for a long time. I defended my master's thesis on sexting um, and communication and satisfaction. You can check out my Instagram to kind of see the process of that along the way. More videos are coming soon. As always, leave comments below about what kind of content you want me to make next as I return from my time away. You can support me on Patreon if you want to with a couple bucks to get some perks and support me. You can also subscribe and like the video if you aren't already. That helps me in the algorithm to help more people see this content. But yeah, that's all for me today. Have a lovely day. This shirt is amazing. Um, it says sex as education on it and it was given to me by the producer of my web series Sex Ed School for kids talking about sex and bodies. You can't get it but I just wanted to tell you because I like it <laughs> and also because I like the show. If you haven't seen it go check it out.